Yo, 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 yo. So what did you guys, um... Right now it's time to do a... Dawn Games. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, we're going to ask you to kindly please rise from your seats and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Republic Records recording artist and superstar... Shaylin. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the glorious I'm Thomas Harrison, alongside me is Big Mike. Now, we're not only here for an evening filled with track and field, but we're also here for a good cause. We're here for the Special Olympics in a myriad of other charities here this evening. So don't be afraid to donate now. But enough of the pleasantries, Mike. Why are we here and what are you look most looking forward to? I mean, I'm here for the trash, trash talk, Thomas, to be honest with you. We see a lot of it going on on Twitter, on the internet, a lot between Jake and Logan. And the 100 meter today is going to decide the fastest entertainer on the planet. And uh, that's pretty exciting stuff. I'm, I'm watching Logan Paul. He's got a pretty banged up hamstring there. But uh, hopefully he can pull it together and rooting for him to win. Okay, well said. Straight from the source here. We're going to throw it down to Allie on the field. So, Allie, take us away. Hey, guys. It's Allie Stagnita from Hollywood Life here at the Halogen Athletes Lounge. We are so excited to bring you the first Challenger Games. And, I mean... Mike, you're talking about trash talking. I'm sure that a lot more of that is going to continue, and I'm going to bring you that right here from the sidelines. Um, but some trash talking that's going to continue as well at the finish line, I am sure. Shannon Briggs, what's going on there? Hey, what's up, guys? It's the champ, Shannon, again, and Briggs. I can't believe it, man. All champions. Everyone's getting ready. It's going to be an amazing day. Thanks to J.K. Logan Paul. I'm so excited. Everyone at home is excited. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't 
said the first event for this evening is the 400 meter dash. In lane one, we got Spence Steven. Two, we got Ben Al Azalar. Three, Cole Lambrand. In lane four, we got Jackson O'Durty. Lane five, Alex Wasabi. Lane six, Mark Donor. Lane seven, Rice Gum. In lane eight, Deshay Frost. So you see the names up there. I do. Who are the big-time favorites for this? This, this is an interesting kickoff. Alex Wasabi, the quintessential family man, uh, just one of the one of the classic YouTubers of all time. Um, I think there's a lot of eyes on Rice Gum in lane seven. The problem with Rice Gum is he's actually not here today, so I, I, I highly doubt that he's going to be winning it unless he's able to pull some sort of miracle from wherever he actually is. Uh, but yeah, this is a good first. This is a good a good tasting, let's say, a good way to kick things off. Well, the 400 is definitely kind of a mental gymnastics out there as well as athleticism. You got to learn when to turn on the burners. You got to learn when to pull back. It's a lot of endurance out there. It's a really hot track right now, so I think it's going to run fast, but endurance is going to be something to watch for in the Heat 1. It's feeling good under this tent, though, but out there, yeah, it's pushing about 146 degrees on my last check. Humidity's at about 160%. Uh, couldn't get much worse out there for those athletes. Hopefully they're staying hydrated. Um, well, as we get set up, we're just going to take a few looks around at the sites of Veterans Stadium as the athletes get ready to be into position. What a beautiful stadium, Thomas. Fantastic. It's a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky as we get set to kick this one off. The crowd seems to be into it. A lot of activity down there at midfield. So we got a little clip for you. Uh, Stephen Scherer, Smack Talk. We're going to get things going for tonight with a little bit of Smack Talk from him. Take it away. So today I'm here to compete in the 400 meter dash. Logan and I have been talking a lot on Instagram and uh, I'm about to show him uh, who's bringing the real game today. So get ready for the Challenger Games. Logan, watch out. I'm coming for you. So, Mike, it, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been thrown out there. What do you think about that? Listen, it's kicking off early. You've seen people talk smack to Logan Paul since the beginning of time, since the, uh, the 1200 BC. Uh, Logan deals with this kind of stuff in his own way by, by winning. Logan loves winning. He's absolutely obsessed with it. And uh, I'm not so sure that that guy's going to be the one that takes him down today, to be honest with you. So we are going to talk a little bit about the guys who you feel are the biggest threat to Logan. Who are those guys, and why do you feel that way? Biggest threats to Logan today are the following. King Batch, uh, you know, all-star finder, uh, star extraordinaire. He's a high school, I think he was a collegiate runner, uh, potentially some sort of gold medal or Olympian at some point or something or other. Uh, destroying is another big one. I think there's a lot of people pulling for destroying to win. And uh, the need to back that up. Yeah, destroying. I mean, threw the extra E in there for uh, exceptionally fast. And also, uh, we've got a guy by the name of Ryan Garcia, who's one of the fastest up and coming boxers in the world. He told me earlier today, Thomas, that he's running a 4.5 mile. Logan, I believe, cannot break for six minutes. So there you have it. Those are the guys to keep an eye on. Obviously, there's going to be lots of entertainers out there trying their best to compete for the cash prize. And, of course, what's even more important, the bragging rights that come along with it. That's basically it. I mean, the bragging rights are everything. Obviously, of course, uh, a lot of charities getting money today, which is which is super important. The Special Olympics is going to get a ton of money today, a uh, cause that's very close to us that we're super happy to be involved with. But uh, a lot of great causes get money today, and the bragging rights, of course. Thank <laughs> you. 
break, we're going to take a moment to thank Halogen, our official streaming partner and host of the Halogen Athletes Lounge. Halogen is a brand new live streaming platform that brings fans closer to the performers that they love. Visit halogen.tv to check out videos from tonight's event and learn about being a creator. Download the Halogen app and start streaming today. Halogen, create, watch, engage. Amazing. Thank you so much, Halogen, for that. Uh, Jake Paul, I believe, is about to go on with Halle in a few minutes here. Jake Paul, the uh, second biggest trash talker of the event, for sure. He's going to be getting married tomorrow. I know we're going to talk about it a little bit later in the program. All right. Are we live? Hey guys, we are here with one of the men of the hour, Jake Paul. Your head seems to be very much in the game. Uh, what are you thinking about right now? Winning. Winning. All he does is win. Um, you're not thinking about that winning tomorrow? This is my bachelor party. Instead of uh, instead of having a normal bachelor party, I'm just going to win. You're just going to win. And who besides your brother, obviously, is your biggest competitor here today, do you think? Um, Queen Batch. Woo! There's some of that trash talk. I like that. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, realistically, I'm the underdog here today. No one expects me to win. I'm going to prove them wrong. Yeah. YouTube, hit that don't right button. I'm really focused right now, so I'm just going to go back to my warming up. All right, get back to it. Guys, you heard it right here. Back to Mike and Thomas. So it's one heck of a bachelor party before the wedding. So Halogen is the only place to watch Jake and Tana's wedding tomorrow night. The pay-per-view event will include the red carpet, a cocktail hour, ceremony, and reception. Nobody knows what's going down to go down to Vegas, but you'll be able to see it live. Go to halogen.tv slash Jake and Tana. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be at that wedding. And uh, I will say, regarding Jake's bachelor party that he's having right now, I've not seen Jake look that angry since he stormed on the impulsive set for episode 100. He looks focused, he looks stone-faced, and he looks ready to uh, give it all he's got today, Thomas. Well, that's what we're looking forward to. He does look focused and competitive, and of course, probably wants to beat his brother out there. I think that's really their main goal. They've been uh, battling their entire lives trying to one-up each other since the wrestling days back in high school, and uh, I'm excited to see how this all goes down here. Okay, and we're going to go with Allie down at the field. Well, I just wanted to ask Mike how he's recovered since uh, Jake called him out on Impulsive. How are you doing, buddy? And, uh, and we're all a big family. We get into little scuffles here and there, but, uh, you know, we've, we've talked it out. We've worked it out, and I'm just really excited for his wedding tomorrow. I'm ready for him to uh, to uh, potentially take home the medal today, so I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a Jake Paul in it. At the end of the day. At the end of the day, I love that. I One are. big family. Yep. That's right. So we're getting set for Heat 1. We have Spence Steven in lane 1, Ben Azalar in lane 2, Cole Labyrinth, Alex Wasabi in 5, Mark Donor in lane 6, and Steven Scherer in lane 9. Wow, anticipation is uh, truly growing here. Mark Donor is uh, stretching out those hamstrings. Doesn't want what happened to his uh, old boss to happen to him. There's Alex Wasabi warming up, looking as uh, children friendly, as family friendly as he ever has. And they're off for the first heat of this inaugural Challenger Games presented by Halogen. In lane one, we got Steven, Spence Steven gaining ground on everybody in the inside track. He's really going after it. Steven Scher better watch out. He's going to get passed quickly. Mark Donor's uh, sucking up a little bit of gas there in the back. He's been spending too much time at the nightclub. I think we got two standouts right now. Spence Steven and Steven Scherer. Their names are so similar, which makes it really difficult. But the inside track, Spence Steven right now, running away with it, wow. literally and figuratively. It's going to be all him coming down the stretch right now. So they're just battling for a second. It's like he's screaming something as he runs. Absolutely incredible. And it's going to be Spence Steven taking home heat one in first place. Steven Scherer coming up behind. The look of determination on Spence's face right now is just absolutely incredible. That was an impressive run right there. Yes. 
He set the bar pretty high. So an incredible first performance by him, Spence Steven, as he took the inside track and never really looked back on that. And just all Spence Steven down the track, and he knows it too. Look how pumped he is. He is excited. He is excited. Uh... And we're going to go down to Shannon. He's actually got a live broadcast going right now. Shannon, take it away. Interview with the winner. Hey, let's go, Jack. Give it to Winner, man. Right from the start. He jumped out the gate. I really didn't know what to expect, but it was great. Wow. I was impressed. I looked at you. Everybody was going, wow, look at this guy. You're a madman. Thank you. Thank you. So much. you appreciate it. Oh, Jack. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Oh, man. You're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking good. Obviously, you've done this before. Never in my life. What? I'm not going to lie. Hey, sign him up, guys. That's it. <laughs> uh, let's go, Chad. Back to the team. The black right now as well. Okay, let's go, Chad. All righty. You heard it from Shannon himself. So, Spence Steven takes home the Heat 1 medal. We're going to go more to that later. So, Shannon, thanks for that. He always animated Shannon Briggs. Let's go champ himself. Imagine having a large brick wall talk to you after taking home the uh, first place. And again, we just want to mention a special spot or shout out to our sponsor, Halogen. Fans and athletes, let's give a big shout out to them. It's a brand new live streaming platform that lets you charge as much or as little as you want for your content. Now you can stream live with unlimited scale on a totally free platform supported by fans, not ads. Download the Halogen app and go live from your phone right now. Halogen, create, watch, engage. Incredible. So we're getting ready for heat number two. In lane one, we have Box Boy. Lane three, Elliot Giles. Lane four, Ryan Tran. Jake, or lane five, Jake Paul. Six, Dax Dax. Seven, Bryce Hall. Eight, by Virus. And nine, Nate my name. And we're going to have some updated lane names for you in a second. There's been a little bit of a reshuffling. We'll get that to you as soon as I get it. Before the 400 meter dash heat two, Allie, what do you got for us? 
Hey guys, so um, I have learned that Jake isn't running this next race due to a scheduling issue. He is uh, holding out for the next one that he's uh, slated to run in. So he just is continuing to stretch, taking very, very good care of those hamstrings. I think uh, I think his brother might have gotten into his head a little bit. So uh, we'll see. But it's a scheduling issue. Nothing is wrong. He is ready to race uh, when his name is up next. Wow. Yeah. Massive update. If I know Jake Paul, that is a strategic marketing move. Um, I can't really decide what could have pushed him to do that, but uh, hopefully he's getting ready for the next one. Well, in lane one, the updated lane assignments are as followed. Number one, Box Boy. Number four, Ryan Trahan. Number six, Dax Dax. Seven, Bryce Hall. Eight, Five Virus. Nine, Nate My Name. Now, Dax is definitely the best rapper on the course, that's for sure. If you were on live television right now, you are right in the middle. Thank you. Uh, so I'm looking at Dax right now, definitely the fastest rapper, and hopefully he's got the wheels to uh, back it up. Well, he looks as far as he gets set, and off we go here. Heat number two, we got the inside track. Box Boy really giving it all right there. And the outside still goes to Nate My Name. And who's going to make a pass here? Dax Dax coming up. It's the thing is pretty tight right now. No clear winner. To be honest, I've seen mashed potatoes move faster than this heat. It's 400 meters right there. It's a little bit of an endurance test. But Dax Dax rounding that corner. It looks like he's the one in oh, the boy. lead right now. But on the outside, Nate My Name trying to make it competitive. But he's running out of gas. And it's going to be Dax Dax down the stretch. But we do have another competitor coming in right now. <laughs> That by virus is pushing for second right now, but it's Dax Dax in the lead, and he's going to take home heat number two, followed by Dax Dax. Wow. Not only can he rap, but he can run, guys. This guy is really moving. Another impressive showing. Two blowouts in a row so far, so it's going to be interesting to see when all the heat winners meet each other, who's going to be the top dog. Speaking of heat, I hope everyone out there is uh, staying hydrated right now during this heat wave that's uh, really attacking the United States, including sunny Long Beach, California, where we are, Thomas. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I feel good right now. I'm under a nice canopy out there. I'm not competing. I'm just watching them, critiquing, and uh, just enjoying life. Yeah, it's, it's really going great. It's turned into quite a wild scene over in the uh, commentator's booth. We've got Steven Spence. He's over here just making a ton of noise. Over to Briggs, it looks like, yeah? And let's go to break, or let's go to break right now for. Oh, not yet. Hey guys, hey, hey man, that was an amazing race. You took off out the gate. People was like, yo, we gonna die down. Guess what? You did, champ. Talk to us. Tell you my man, just mental fortitude. You know how it is, champ. You a champ. Thank you, sir. A champ. You a champ too. Got the. You the man. Thank you. You ready for the next one? There's another one. Yeah. right there so he's going to be one to watch out for in the 400 meter what are your thoughts i would have liked to have seen him freestyle his uh, acceptance speech there i think he, he came with some pretty weak bars to be honest with you and uh i think his flow could have been a little bit more uh, melodic uh it sounded pretty much like he was talking so if you're just joining us heat one went to spence steven and heat two went to dax dax for the 400 meter men's race as we get set up <laughs> we came to the audience. Great, shit, great crowd this evening. Happy everyone came out and having fun in the stands. So I'm seeing uh, Austin McBroom from the Ace family circling the tent with his large security guards right now. We're trying to get him over to the tent to have a few words. Uh, he was originally supposed to race, but he was also injured. Just <laughs> very unfortunate. And we just want to get. We just want to give another uh, shout out to Halogen fans and athletes. Let's give a big shout out to Halogen, our official streaming partner and host of the Halogen Athletes Lounge. Halogen is a brand new streaming platform that lets you charge as much or as little as you want for content. Now you can stream live with unlimited scale on a totally free platform supported by fans, not ads. Download the Halogen app and go live from your phone right now. Halogen, create, watch, engage. Wow, you've gotten quite good at those read-throughs, Thomas. That was incredible. Thank you, Halogen. 
being such a gracious partner for this event. Oh, we've got a women's race here. And we have the women's 400 meter dash as we get set up. Lane number two, Maya Montoya. Three, Jenny Garcia. Five, Mayor Bayer. Six, Mika Montoya. Seven, Julia Sandoval. Now, who do you like in this heat? This is a tough one. I, I follow a lot of these girls on Instagram. Uh, not not really too sure about their running skills. Um, I don't really follow them for that reason. Uh, my homegirl is Bear Bear. I've never seen her run. I'm not so sure she can run, but I'll be rooting for Bear Bear in this one. She was just a guest on my night shift show. And here we go. Let's see if your prediction comes true. I don't think it's going to, Thomas, but let's, fit. let's see. Oh, so, so wow. off the tracks right now. So right now, Maya Montoya in the lead, but hold up. Jenny yeah. Garcia just making a move and a quick pass on the left-hand side. It looks like she's running away with it, barring she doesn't run out of any steam right now. And they are definitely sitting out and sitting out fast. So Jenny Garcia followed by Maya Montoya. And unclear who's in third, but it's a runaway, so to speak. Oh or is that Mayor Bear? I think that's Mayor Bear. I think I called the winner over the first three. Yeah, yeah that's Mayor Bear. Not only did you call the winner by dominating fashion right here, so Mayor Bear coming out and putting a stranglehold early on heat one. I am impressed. I am thoroughly impressed. So Mayor Bear is going to run away with this one and followed by what looks like Maya Montoya in lane two. But coming up is Mika Montoya. And Mayor Bear, you were talking a little bit of trash on her, but she just blows the competition out of the water. She strolls in for an easy victory. I am thoroughly impressed. I knew she had the ability to do at Fashion Nova posts on Instagram, but I did not know she could run. That was quite impressive, Thomas. So it looks like around the 200 meter marks, uh, the contestants started to peter out a little bit. That goes toward the weather we're experiencing and also the endurance and stamina. It's, you're, it's very tough to battle that lactic acid. you got to remember, Thomas, a lot of these competitors are very, have very, very strong thumbs. The majority of the things they do is uh, posting on Instagram um, and uh, editing pictures on the Facetune app. And so they're not, you know, not normally. And uh, I think we're moving over to someone else. So we're going to throw it down to Let's Go Champ Shannon right now. He's with the winner, Mayor Bear. What you got for us? Let's Go Champ. Hey, these guys, Ben, 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 can we get a word with you, please? Winner, here we go. Winner, hey, how you doing? You did an amazing job. Everyone's at home going crazy right now. Talk to the people. Everyone's just here to be a good sport. We're doing it for charity. Let's fucking get it! Let's go, Jay. Hey, hey, listen to me, Jay, but you're the first official winner of these games. The first winner. I mean, people going crazy at home. Talk to them. Give them a let's go, Jay. Let's go, guys. You're not ready for the smoke. It's not over. What's the charity? What's the charity? What's the charity? Children of the nations, please. Children of the nations. The children of the nations. Let's go, champ. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my legs are spaghetti. She's spaghetti. Right there with a, an emphatic victory there. She wins the 400 meter for the women. And rightfully so, she blew the competition out of the water. It was incredible. And also, Mary Bear with the first official swear. She's obviously very enthusiastic and shows on that post-game interview. I guess Shannon just brings it out in everybody. <laughs> Thought it was going to be myself, but I guess it was Mary Bear. Soon, so 
You ready, yo? Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah. Hit that donate button. Yeah, I mean, is this going exactly as planned? Are you happy with the results right now? This is amazing. My favorite part about this is I know how powerful internet creators can be and influencers, influencers can be, I think, with the next wave of celebrity, if you will. And I know when we get together, the things we, we can accomplish are incredible. So this is awesome, making it happen and actually seeing it come to life. Like, I got to thank the fans. I got to thank everyone who came out today and trusted me for making this happen. Like, shit, this is awesome. Like, this is a blessing. I love it. Proud of you. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Logan Paul. All eyes on him today. My my very best friend in the whole wide world, and I'm I'm really pulling for him. But unfortunately, something else that's pulled is also his hamstring. Yeah, it looks like he's stretching out that hamstring. It's going to be interesting to see how he does on a 400. So I know he's running the 100, but the 400 also is going to take a lot of strength and endurance and power through this event. So as he sprints down the main football field there. He's looking good, though. He looks good. He does look a little hot, a little sweaty. I'm sure those socks smell uh, just about as bad as KSI's headband. And I just want to take a minute, minute to uh, appreciate the Special Olympics here. The Challenger Games is raising money to benefit the Special Olympics. The Special Olympics are the largest sports organization for people with intellectual disabilities. Click on that donation button now. And give to something good. Kids, if you're watching this back home and you don't have a credit card, say you're 11, 12 years old, and all you've got is some allowance money saved up in your uh, sock drawer, you get downstairs, talk to your parents, say, I want to donate some money to the Special Olympics. Uh, there's really no better cause in the entire world. They do a lot of their business through donations, and uh, it would be a real great thing for you guys to do. So shout out to the Special Olympics. <laughs> So as the runners get in position for the first heat of the 100 meter dash, this is the one all eyes are on Jake and Logan Paul, the trash doctors themselves. And who's going to be dubbed the fastest man on YouTube or the fastest entertainer on the internet? Like I said, I'm, re I'm really pulling for Logan Paul on this one. I I'd love to see it happen. But uh, I just I think he's, he's, he's very, he's, he's been quite, a, he's been in therapy just about every day, uh, getting iced up and, and sitting in ice baths. And I'm really hoping that leg holds up on him. We don't have to wheel him out of here in some sort of uh, gurney. Well, that would be unfortunate. The face of the Challenger Games, and the sprinters are getting into position. And this is the one everyone wants to win, I feel like. The 100 meters has historically been about the fastest man on the planet. Everyone knows who Usain Bolt is, Tyson Gay, Justin Gatlin. Those names ring true. And who's going to emerge victorious on the 100 meter this afternoon? We'll find out. It all starts on heat one. And we're going to go to Alley for a tree race. Little blurb right now. All right, awesome. Hey guys, we are with Destroy. We've had a lot of fan questions for you, um, especially because you've been really open with your training right now. Um, just tell me, a lot of people are asking how you get your confidence. Honestly, it's on the mind. You know, I'm. I got one goal in my mind, and it's winning, so I just got to come out and execute it. What have you been doing, you know, in the past few weeks to train? I mean, obviously, you've been showing videos, but when the cameras are off, what are you up to? Stretching. I got to stretch a lot. Make sure I'm flexible, ice bad. Uh, and honestly, what you guys see on film is what I've been doing, man. I try to be open and real with everybody, so. Who's your biggest competition here today? What you say? I heard Kubatch used to run track at Florida State, so he, he might be up here. Uh, Top Jizzle, Top Jizzle. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, brother. It's been a lot of back and forth, so I how you say that, but, you know, other than myself, I think King Batch and so just All right, awesome. So no Paul brothers in there? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think they're more of the clickbait aspect of it, you know? Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. All right, guys, back to you. Well, thanks, Allie, for that update. As the sprinters are getting into position, we want to thank Fashion Nova. Thank you so much. The world's hottest selection of styles for men, seven women. Fashion Nova features the latest trends in every st size and style. Shout out Fashion Nova. <clears throat> wow, the trash talking has really picked up a notch here. 
our last uh, contestant there on the on the camera calling Jake Paul and Logan Paul clickbait. We've all heard that one before, but uh, wow, day of action. This is this is really getting crazy out here, folks. Did you hear that? No. All right, we're doing the pre-game rituals between brothers right here. What do you think they're saying to one another? Uh, I think they're trying to get into each other's heads. I've seen this kind of thing a million times from these two. Uh, Jake is Jake is probably uh, talking smack about his hamstring. Logan's probably saying that he's uh, he can't say the word, can't say any of the words that Logan's probably using right now because this is a family uh, family friendly program. Uh, but it's, it's probably getting pretty spicy. So our lane assignments are as followed. Logan's here. We have in lane one, Boogeyman. Two, Jackson O'Doherty. In three, Cole Lambert. Four, Fauci two. Five, Logan Paul. No! Fousey Tube saying, let's get it. He's excited. Fousey is excited. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Fousey making one of the biggest comebacks in internet history. Uh, really excited to see how it's running Silas today. We got our... Hey, it's... It's... It's sick. Unmarked. It's unmarked. I don't care who you are. I don't care how many views you get. I don't care how many subscribers you got. When you see me on the track today, I'm going to leave you in the dust. And that's it about that. Fousey, the, the classic uh, smack talker of all time. I know he's got an ongoing beef with one of our other contestants today, Vitaly. We'll see how that pans out. Logan walking around with his flowing rocks. And here we go. And this is what you want to see. This is what everyone came out here to witness. And as they're in the blocks, interesting starting position from lane three. That's Cole Lambert. And see, he false starts. So everyone gets one, or there's one false start attributed to the group. And the next one to do it is disqualified. So as they get back set, the crowd goes quiet, but the hearts start racing at this point. I can barely contain myself, Thomas. And fast out the gate, looks like Logan. Oh, we have a tumbler. But looks like it's neck and neck. It's between Funny Mike. And unclear who that is, but it looks like Funny Mike's going to take it. Brennan Taylor also there. Nope, not Funny Mike. We've... All eyes on Logan Paul right now. It looked like he got up limping as he crosses oh, wow. a finish line. He's in bad shape. He carried by Fousey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not good. <laughs> As we look at that, oh, it looks yeah. like right out the block, and Fousey takes a dive there with him. Fousey takes a dive. Logan turns directly into a robot, it looked like there. Yep, he's a robot. Do we have an official winner? I do believe Brennan Taylor, Brennan takes, Taylor home. takes the first seat. Yep, that's Brennan. Just with a 12-second point four three. 100 meter dash, which is pretty good. George Janko in second, Cole Labor in third. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we're going to go down to Shannon right the now. The real winner, come here, Jack. The real winner. I mean, funny Mike told me he was the winner. But let's go, Jack. <laughs> hey, man, talk to the people, man. Talk to us. What's going on, guys? My name is Brennan Taylor. I'm telling you, this is all the fun, bros. Taylor Boy's coming up. Yeah, woo, woo. What's your time for you, Jack? What's your time for you? Thirst project. Ooh. Let's give water to everyone because water is something that we all share. Let's go, Jack. And that's you. My thirst project. The thirst project. <laughs> let's go, Jack. Let's go, Jack. Let's go, Jack. Let's go, Jack. Sorry, with Logan. Um, you're not on camera, but um, oh, yeah, you are. Um, <laughs> how are you doing? What 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 just happened? I I, I feel so dumb. Don't feel dumb. Uh. Two minutes before they called the heat, I I, I popped, pulled my hamstring again. I heard it pop, um, and then then I went into panic mode because you know I said I bet like a hundred thousand dollars and all, and then I like 
am immobilized. So I'm kind of just like panicking right now. But it's a great event. Like, please donate to the Special Olympics. I think we really did it. And there's still a lot of good competitors out there. But I'm, I'm, I'm just disappointed. And honestly, I blame Snoop Dogg because I was guarding Snoop Dogg in the, in the basketball game that I tore my hamstring. And like, I don't know. This is it for me, I think. Are you, you're out the rest of the day? Uh, I'm, I might try to swing, a, swing another event. I got, I got the 4 by 100 meter relay. Um, I got a fast team, so we'll see what happens. But, like, I, I mean, you can imagine. I'm, I'm uh, <coughs> so sorry. No, I really am. I'm so disappointed that my leg couldn't hold up. I do, like, pan down. I have, like, chicken legs, so I, I, I skip leg day. I'm kind of just focused on boxing now, like, in case I your bitch, we know. But, no, it's, it's fine, but um, I think I'm just going to focus on racing. Sports press ice, uh, cover, recover, elevate. Yeah, elevate. Where? So where are you going to be the rest of the, this this day? I mean, your relay team, like you said, but just um, just watching, rooting for Jake now. I hate to say it, but I think so. All right, all right. Well, we are going to Shannon Briggs now, uh, who is right here with me. Hey, Jake, man. Listen, listen, listen. I see what happened, man. I'm not disappointed. I know you are very disappointed. Uh, I heard you say you're focusing on boxing now. That's the next step. Uh, the boxing fans around the world looking forward to you. There's big talks with all the networks and everybody with you taking that step into boxing. Can you? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
box with us right now, but maybe, do you think we can get him a headset quickly? So as we begin heat number three, we got Jake Paul again. Well, that's actually Logan. Or Logan. I know they look very similar. Logan, I, I've never been more saddened by uh, an apparent injury. You, you came out the gate, you looked immediately like a robot. What happened? I, I pulled my hamstring again, not not 120 seconds before we started the race. And uh, I, I, I mean, I panicked, right? So like, I have so much riding on this, so many people watching, and I, did, I didn't know what to do. So I tried to do the race as best I can, but it just sucks, man. It just sucks. I'm disappointed. But uh, to be honest, this event is not about me. It's about charity. It's about donating to the Special Olympics. And, and I think we're still doing a great job of that. And it's really, it's really entertaining. Like I'm really enjoying watching these races. That was a fantastic day. So I gotta say, your brother winning heat number two. I mean, but did he though? I mean, not to not to be that guy, but did he? Because it looked like Toby won, won that race. We, we've we've actually heard back from the booth, and I believe there may be a, some sort of malfunction That's, in the, yeah, the finish line yep, equipment, yep, yep. and he may have used some sort of uh, cheating device. We're looking yes. into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As of right now, the standing stand. Okay. Well, you know, I'm proud. Like a carry on the Paul name and whatnot, but all, like I don't know. He's getting married. Is that even that, like real? Like who knows? I, I really feel for you, Logan, and I hope you're able to get some water and some food. Um, I haven't been fed or had any drinks of any kind today. I'm actually uh, on the verge of death out here in 120 degrees. I believe you. We should. We should can, can we get my son? No, no, no. Don't think of me. Think of yourself and okay. go get fitted for that peg leg. Okay? Well, going, you're sweating all over me. Going forward, are you going to root for your brother or are you rooting against him? I think so. I think I have to. I think I, I, as much as I didn't want to see the kid win against me, I, I do want to see him win, win the race and become the fastest entertainer on the planet. He's got the wheels. I'm you got like brotherly that. love. You gotta like that. Yeah. Do you guys mind if I join you, by the way? I don't at all. I'm, I might just chill out here. Like I'm, I want to make myself useful. Okay. Speaking of your brother, Palogen is the only place to watch Jay Container's wedding tomorrow night. The pay-per-view event will include the red carpet, cocktail hour, ceremony, and reception. Nobody knows what's going to go down in Vegas, but you'll be able to see it live. Go to halogentv Container. I'm nervous for that trip. I'm going as well, and it's going to be rowdy, so make sure you tune in for sure. Well, I like how this is like the pre-bachelor party going toward the wedding. How many how many bachelor parties does the best man pull his hamstring? Uh, Actually, probably a decent amount, I feel like. <laughs> I'm sure it happens. We don't have the stats on that, but I'm going to throw out 8%. Yeah, right? Yeah. I feel like that's about right. Uh, we get set for heat number three right now. A lot of competitors for the 100 meter. That's the big money prize. Well, We're going to get lane assignments up to shortly. are here at the Jana Mansion. I thought it was very interesting. For the live streams, if you guys want to watch So here we go. Hi, guys. Hello, Jana. Who knows what's going to happen live? You got Faye Sensei. Austin with the groom. No, Austin with the groom. You circle the tent. We'll try to get up here. I know you're in. Sorry for the, uh, some of the mishaps here. We've had quite a few injuries. Lance 210 is out there. Vitaly is out there. Big batch. Favorite. He's strong. This is a big batch. And they're off. And they are off. And it's a great get I believe that's the strong. And these are the only strong that's running away with it. Open batch. He's slowing up. 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 He's struggling with an impressive victory. Fast out of the gates. Fast down the stretch. The man is fast. That was that was incredible. This is the official platform. That's just for Jim Andrew Jeff has got a lot of key matches. Actually, at this point, it doesn't matter. Destroy is the fastest man on the team. You've got nothing on this guy. And really quick out of the blocks. That's so important for the 100 meter dash. And the maintain of speed throughout. Impressive. And he didn't look back. Impressive by destroying. I mean, what's there? Is there any reason to look back at that point? That guy's about to have a gold medal around his neck, unless uh, Ryan Garcia or maybe Jake Paul is able to get some sort of mechanical device installed in his legs before uh, the next heat. Well, again, if you're just joining us, Jake Paul took the heat number two, and destroying took heat number three in impressive fashion. They got their work cut out for him. I just don't think I've ever seen a man move that fast before. And destroying with an official 11 second 100 meter dash. That's impressive. We're going to go down to Shannon. He's with the winner. I got him. I got him. But we, okay, where's the camera? Where's the camera? Turn around. Let's go, champ. Okay. Okay, I'm here with the winner, guys. Look at him, y'all. He's rubbing his fingers together. What does that mean, champ? Got that money, man. You feel me? I mean, it's only three limbs, so it's still one more race, but. I gotta get that money. People at home going crazy. I mean, 
I feel good, bro. I feel like I could have done a little better. I'm always hard on myself, but hey, we got the job done. Let's go, Charity. Hey, give me a, what's, what's your charity you want to shout out? Um, I haven't picked charity yet, but so, yeah, I don't know. You're going to shout you out because you did a hell of a job. Let's go, Jam. And get back to the booth. So I think we found our favorite going ahead for the 100 meter dash, destroying with an 11 second 100 meter dash. That's impressive for anybody. I mean, that's impressive for a SpaceX rocket ship, to be honest with you, Thomas. I'm pretty sure the uh, the uh, spa last SpaceX Mars uh, rover made it to Mars in the same time. I mean, this guy is uh, some sort of super planetary being. I couldn't have said it better myself. That's Ayla Woodruff we're looking at, guys. Logan Paul's ex-assistant. Um, I'll be quite honest, we've had a crush on this girl since the dead man. She's absolutely beautiful. She's about four foot two, somewhere between three foot six and four foot two. Uh, Jenna Frooms is next to her, another... Another great person, absolute lover. Oh, and we've got Summer Rae down at the end there. Summer Rae, the glue queen. Her legs are made of steel and protein. Uh, she is absolutely incredible, rocking those cheetah shorts, dancing around, hair bopping around. This is going to be an exciting heat, Thomas. Most. All right. Yes, all eyes are on Summer Rae uh, in there in the leopard shorts. Uh, she looked really calm right before going on. She's just been stretching out, getting ready to go. Uh, she told me that she's very excited to be here, and she's ready to smoke them. So uh, we'll keep our eyes out for that. Back to you, Mike. Tell us. Incredible. We're actually joined in the booth right now by Daisy Keach, one of the other competitors. Daisy, you can probably stand right here for a second. You can stand right here. Yeah, get on camera. This is kind yeah, of like the turn into the party. Right we don't need to. We don't need to bike her. But Daisy's gonna. You're gonna be running in a little. You haven't run yet, right? Hurdles. Daisy. Daisy has absolutely, absolutely never done hurdles in her life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, put a mic on her. Are you, are you excited? Are you scared? How are you feeling? I'm nervous. I feel like I'm gonna hurt myself. I think it's gonna run time. I'm gonna look at it. Like, what do I do? The field for the women's heat number one. We got lane number nine. Fangs. Laura D.Y., Taylor Alicia, Summer Kinsey Snow, Charlie Jordan, Jenna Frumez, Roz is in the building, and we got Isla Woodruff. Ladies, you guys ready to race? Yeah! Woo! Uh, we got the first heat of the women's 100-meter dash. Oh, I see my head, my fat head. Oh! So here we go. This is the final. No heats. Wow. Settle it right here. Who so you got on this one? <sighs> There's your crush. I, I, I think it's gonna be summer. I think it's gonna be summer ready. Summer ready's got so much power in those legs. It's like a it's like a Ford F one fifty coming down the track, and I can't imagine that she's not able to Oh, I am so sorry. Charlie Jordan is gonna win this heat. This this whole race. Charlie Jordan wins it. So late number six, Summer Ray to watch out for. Guaranteed. If you're in Vegas right now, put your money on Charlie Jordan, it's a guarantee. There's so no Charlie Jordan is in lane four, so yep. watch the middle lane, Summer Ray and Charlie Jordan. The start's gonna be the utmost importance. <laughs> and here we go. Charlie Jordan. And it's gone. Charlie Jordan. Gone. God, she is this fast. Is out of Woo! I think she's in running in the wrong heat. We need to put her in. My God. Charlie Jordan, Michael Jordan. Wow. That girl is a freaking lightning bolt. She did look way bolt. too easy right there. I mean, let's be honest. Who, who's going to compete with that today? And she ran a 12.94 on the 100, and she's going to take home gold right there. My God. And she said the first thing she says is good job guys what a sport that's the sportsmanship you all want to see out of these competitors but then again i'm sure it is pretty easy to say good job guys after you absolutely smoke everyone in your heat absolutely incredible just stride after stride pure fury fire burning like a gas powered steam train coming down the track in really nice form on and finishing a run from the get-go and then maintaining acceleration Good top speed there. And like you said, you're picking up. But we're going to go to Shannon with the winner right now. Shannon, what do you got to say? I say, I mean, guys, we did an amazing job. I mean, we're, we're looking at the replay. Shannon, talk to us. It's been way too long since I've ran, but that was so much fun. Scholar My track scholarship wasn't for nothing, guys. Wow, that was so impressive, man. Everyone's all going crazy, man. What's next for you? Ah, uh, the 100 meter hurdles, baby! Woo! Let's go to the hurdles, let's go, Jack! Let's go, baby! Let's go, Jack! Alright! Hey, let me get your first... Wait, wait, wait! What's your favorite term, Jack? Uh, I'm gonna do underground operation, Roto, which is for 
like a duck. Dogs Running, run fast. That's correct. Running's not really my, my uh, specialty. So instead of the 100 meter, the 10 meter is more your style. Or the 10 meter. I can do the 10 meter. Uh, but I'm also really good at uh, eating butter toast. Well, that's a skill all in itself. Oh. Well, mm. to my I don't buy it. No? We got some doubters in the booth, right? Well, there's always going to be doubters, but you did bring a sign. That's true. Just for you, Mike. Thank you very much, Miss uh, Job. <laughs> and, and where's Mia today? Mia's in bed. Tell her to get out of bed and come. That's horrible. Okay. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> well, guys. So we're going to throw it down to the shop book where you got warm ups going on. Oh, we got some big muscular dudes out there. These guys are massive. I'm, I'm really interested to see what happens here. We've got Brad. This is Blessing here, warming up for Bradley Martin. We've got a big question coming in from George Janko regarding times. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a producer for the event. I'm not him. I'm just a commentator. Is there any chance that maybe you can find another area to stand? Worthless. Thank you. Thanks, George. Yeah, trash talk coming all, from all well, angles in this booth. I mean, you got to expect it. You know, I'm a, I'm a very heated personality. Janko. Brendan, why don't you come in here for a second? We got another surprise guest here. We got Brendan North, who is a uh, the, the the infamous videographer for Logan Paul, famous, you know, really great guy, all around great guy. Uh -huh. What what happened? The original. Actually, I'm not the original. You're Mark, not. But Mark was the original. Mark Donner was the original. What happened to Logan there? Did you see that? Uh, I was extremely disappointed. I was not expecting him to give up that fast. I don't know. It seemed like he really did just give up. I mean, he's claiming there's some sort of pain, some sort of explosion happening in his leg. I've yeah. seen explosions that look more like someone just becoming a robot out of laziness. Right. Are you thinking it's an excuse, or...? I would call it an excuse. That, once again, these Paul Brothers' famous marketing play, it's kind of uh, the, uh, uh... It feels like a draw, kind of. You know, like there's going to be a rematch of some sort, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right, just do this whole thing again? All over again, yeah. Right. Like, so, uh, and, and by the way, I'm kidding. Everyone at home, Logan has been in therapy every single day. He's very hurt, and uh, I'm sure he's very distraught about this injury. It's a real injury. Yes, it is. So we're going to go down to the track right now. The 1,600-meter run is just getting oh, off. Now, this is the endurance one. This oh, is the full mile, basically. Summer Rae is on the ground. She's falling. And this is going to intense their endurance more than anything. Does that guy not know he can go into the inside of the track? He, he might not. These guys are YouTubers and Instagram influencers. He's, he's staying out there. Well, you want to jockey for position early. It looks like the pack is spreading out a little bit. Yeah, that guy has no idea he can leave his lane. Now, well, oh, figured it out. Now, I believe Spencer Taylor, the third uh, impulsive host, is in this. He is a long-distance runner. He has run uh, a couple Ironmans, and so I'm watching him right now to see when he turns the, the heat on. He's right here in the third position. Okay, so he's just kind of conserving energy right now, you think. Is he a sprinter toward the end? Summer Rae is doing cartwheels right now. Oh, okay, so we've got Ryan Garcia at Jeff Wittek, or at Jeff on Instagram and meeting right now. Um, Ryan Garcia, the, the endurance you know, champion boxer extraordinaire, he's, he's leading right now, and I'm not so sure he's going to give this back, guys. My mic's open. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not Summer Rae, by the way. So no, that's not Summer Rae, Mike. I saw the shorts. I apologize. But... Yeah. So as they cross the first lap of the 1,600 meters, you just have 1,200 to go. And this is where it gets tough. The heat's pounding down, but we got two separating from the pack. Yep, that's Nat Jeff and, and great cartwheels. And who is that, Allie? Do you know who's doing that? I think she's got to work on her form a little bit. Uh, she looks she looks hurt, but it's definitely not Summer Rae. No, I know it's not Summer shirt, Okay, shorts. apologies there, but we, did, but we did have some nice cartwheels. At Jeff, I'm very impressed by at Jeff. Uh, Jeff Wittex, um, you know, staying with Ryan Garcia. We just keep showing this this poor hurt woman in the back here. Now, how did Spencer do? Let's, let's Spencer's, talk about Spencer. in, uh, Spencer's in the third spot. Uh, Spencer's dropped back behind Ryan Trahan right now. Mm -hmm. But all eyes are really on at Jeff to see if uh, the power of uh, the vlog squad can pull through here. David Dobrik probably at home rooting him on. And they're about to lap this poor woman. I think we got a little bit of a runway show going yeah, on now. I think now. we've got a yes. more, I, I wouldn't call it a runway show, I'd call it a security race. I'm pretty sure we need security in lane three to remove this. A stretcher? Yep. Oh, and she's picking it back up now. Now she thinks she's winning the race. She is running and, and, and you know, by the looks of it, she's, she's taking this thing home. That is, that is dedication. <laughs> and she's about to get lapped. Last time I saw somebody get lapped was in Mario Kart on N64. This is just, this is incredible. We need her out of the way. Oh, there she goes. She's pulling off exit 13. I'm sure there's a Chick-fil-A over there or something. 
and the race continues. Now, what happened here? We had a slight, is there a trade here? We've got Ryan Garcia still leading the way, but who is this? I believe that's Ryan Trahan. Is that Ryan Trahan? Yes, that's Ryan Trahan. Uh, he also had a career as a track and field runner back in the day. But as you can see, Ryan Garcia is not giving up. And Spencer looks very good, too. Spencer's really hanging in there, and I think he may turn the Jets on. He's, he's got a career here. Yeah, I think he's waiting till the very end to, to give it to him. He that, doesn't want to show off too much, you know. That's not Spencer's vibe. That said, he is plant-based, and uh, he's probably running out of fuel at this point since he hasn't eaten a carb or a uh, piece of meat since yeah, 2002. Except, you know, Mike, he started some beef with me today on Twitter, so I don't really know if I'm rooting for him. I wouldn't call it beef, Allie. He is, like I said, he's plant-based, so if anything, it would be uh, an impossible burger. Okay. So we are coming toward the last 400 meters of this race, and the competition is thinning out a little bit. It is a tough race. It's one mile, basically, of running, and in this heat, it's got to be tough out there for the challengers, especially the ones that have competed in multiple games. But that's going to bring us to thanking Fashion Nova. Thank you. And become your own fashion icon with Fashion Nova today. Check them out, Fashion Nova. Mike's already on it. Shout out Fashion Nova. <laughs> Lauren Descala, by the way, is the girl who's leading, but I mean, this is this couldn't be closer. Wow, this is... Now it looks like Ryan, Ryan Trahan and Ryan Garcia, two Ryans, and what are the chances, are pulling away with this. Ryan Garcia, I mean, I wouldn't want to be the guy that beats Ryan Garcia, by the way. He could really sock you. Well, Ryan Garcia, maybe he's conserving a little bit of energy. You mentioned he's the boxer. Yep. So he's used to running these long distances. My goodness, the security risk is back on the track. Chick-fil-A works fast. And it looks like Ryan Garcia on the outside and Ryan Trahan in the inside. They got a jockey for position here. It's coming down toward the final lap. It looks like Trahan's turning the heat up a little bit on Ryan Garcia. But of course, we just keep going back to this woman in the back here. And here we go. Well, it looks like Trahan and Garcia are going to be making a pull. But Trahan with the impressive pull away after murders oh right there. Goodness. Looking like an Olympic runner out there. So Ryan Trahan. With ease. Ryan Trahan, impressive 1600. He is the champion for this event, followed closely by Ryan Garcia. So the Ryans take one and two. And then who do we have as the, as the female winner, Allie? You might be able to help. And Spencer coming over the uh, over the finish line now. Uh, boy, do I love Spencer Taylor. What a great guy. Great job, Ron Trahan. YouTube star, marketing genius. And we got some other competitors finishing up right now. Yes, we are. All right. And it's tough to finish this event. Honestly, like a dead sprint, 1,600 meters in this heat, it is, uh, it's tough to accomplish, and hats off to everyone who's participating in the 1,600 meters. That's not the one I would want to participate in, but you got to give it up to these folks. Well, not in this weather either, Thomas. I mean, it, I don't remember it being this hot since the last uh, Stone Age. Uh, you can could, you could fry an egg on the, on the turf right now and possibly you could cook a, a large turkey if you had to. And I feel like competitors are just coming out of nowhere at this point. Yeah, I don't believe either any, any of these people were even in the race. I'm pretty sure they just jumped in about halfway through. Um, well, here we go. This is oh, the wow. start of the event, and they're coming out a little bit slow. You'll see the girl uh, on the left just trip and take an absolute tumble. <laughs> take an absolute tumble. But you got to love her being a good sport about it. There she up. goes on the runway. Flex a pose. Bam. Just absolutely incredible. What an athlete. What an overall competitor. And just it's, it's incredible to watch her move from uh, athleticism to runway modeling to just overall, you know, being the biggest security risk we've had so far. So kind of the Challenger Games triple threat. Runner, model, security threat. Security threat. That's correct. Yes, yes, Thomas. Oh, wow. We've got Ryan Garcia walking over here. So we actually have Shannon with the winner of the event. We're going to go to Shannon right now. Hey, let's go jump in with the winner, Ryan Bay. did a phenomenal job. What a race, man. Talk to people at home. All right. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. That was a tough one. Shout out to Ryan Garcia for taking the win the whole time. Uh, that was fun. I used to run in high school. It's fun to get back on the track. Man, you really pulled away. It was like nothing I've seen. I've been running all my life as a boxer, 
and that was the one that was incredible, man. You do this often, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I used to run all the time in high school, but lately, I mean, I put on like 30 pounds since then. Ooh, <laughs> so wow. I was pretty happy with that. I was surprised. Okay, okay. What, what charity do you want to give a shout out to? So I'm donating the front steps, Austin. Uh, we raised twenty thousand dollars a few weeks ago. Let's go, Chad. Those guys play Minecraft, and uh, it uh, basically helps all the homeless population in my city. And it's great. You're a real champion for that, man. It. You're a real champ. Let me get a let's go, champ. Let's go. <laughs> there he is. Thank you, brother. Let's go. My name is Ryan Trahan. We made it to the Challenger Games. I want to win so bad. You have no idea how bad I want to win. It's like, it's concerning. I'm going to kick Logan Paul's, can I say, but I'm going to kick it. And I don't think we're even competing. So that's going to be really weird whenever I do that. Please support me. <laughs> So Ryan Trahan taking the modest approach there, he's just happy to be here, but then he goes and takes home the 1600 meters, impressive showing. And, and also, man, a few words, very, another family friendly, reminds me a lot of Alex Wasabi. I think we've got uh, Ryan Garcia over with Allie. And we're going to go to Allie right now with Ryan Garcia. Allie, take it away. Hey guys, we are, we are with Ryan Garcia. He was leading the way uh, until the other Ryan came and kind of took over what happened there. You know, he probably just had a little bit more experience. In the mile run, he waited to the end, and he went and got me. But all props to him. He deserves it. He, he raced good. Would you have done anything differently? Yeah, I probably would have just sprinted that last lap and hope he don't catch up. But I don't know. I thought I was kind of farther away than I thought. But he was right behind me. Did you feel like you ran out of fuel there in the end, or, uh, or could I, you have gone a little more? cramps. Oh, okay. Mad cramps. I caught one in my stomach. I caught one in my leg, but I fought through it like a champ would. But uh, he got my ass. That's okay. Second place is good. Uh, not not better than first, though, right? That's right. That's I'll come right. back next year. That's right. Come back next year. Thanks, Ryan. Love the competitive spirit right there, Ryan. Great showing for you. We're going to throw it back to Dylan, the hype man. He's out there doing the medal ceremony for Ryan Trahan, the oh, winner of the 1,600 meter, meter, and Mayor Bear, the 400 meter winner for the women's track. Shout out, Mayor Bear. Where is it? Mar Bear, Mika Montoya, and Julia Sandoval. Uh, Maya Micah and Mayor Bear. You guys were, yes, thank you, stand by here. And the 1600. Ryan Stanford trying to find the contestants who actually won the events. We're going to go ahead and shout out. Halogen, a brand new live yeah, streaming yeah. platform that brings fans closer to the performance they love. If you're watching the broadcast on Halogen, all of your tips and gifts to Special Olympics. You get 500 or 50, excuse me, 50 coins when you create your free account. So sign up and help us make this a special night for a very special charity. Visit Halogen, do TV, dot TV, or find Halogen in the App Store and Google Play. Halogen, create, watch, engage. Wow. So right off the bat, we've got some we've got some pretty big injuries here, but some pretty big performances. I mean it's been great watching Charlie Jordan just absolutely explode. Um, I mean just some really impressive running from people that you would never think could be, you know, Olympic speed runners. I mean, these guys should be, you know, Nike signed athletes. This is incredible. Well, the guys that stand out to me, Jake Paul, obviously with a slow start, but he finished very strong in heat number two. And then Destroying, he's the guy to watch so far in this in these games. Destroying is fast man on the planet, as I said. And uh, also, shout out to David, our videographer from Maverick, who just seemed to have sneaked, snuck into the shot here. I don't know what he wants or why he's standing here. Maybe you could leave. Yes, we'll be playing. Thank you so much. That awkward moment brought to you by Halogen. We're here and we're family. David, get Pam. Pam. So we have a little bit of difficulties finding the winning contestants. I think they're out there. 
spending time with the fans, shaking hands, kissing the knees. And so we've got we've got Pam Stepnick here who uh, <clears throat> come on in here, Pam. Now I know Thomas, you may not know Pam, but she actually birthed she actually birthed both Logan and Jake Paul. So she she You must be a strong woman. Oh wait, we've got a, a new race, sorry, but Okay. Is Daisy in this one? So we got the all right, we have the ladies lined up here again once more, and it's the hurdles. Oh my, oh my gosh, God. this is so frightening to me. I have anxiety thinking about these girls jumping over these hurdles right here. Now, now, really quick, right off the bat, once again, I would bet every single cent in my bank account, which right now it's overdrafted at about negative thirty-five dollars. I still would bet everything I have on Charlie Jordan. Charlie Jordan's got to be the favorite after her dominating. Yeah. So I flower friendly in lane three, K Spoon in four, Charlie Jordan, the person to watch in lane five, and Daisy Keach in lane six. So it's gonna be interesting. These hurdles are definitely the most intense of the groupings, I feel like. Yeah. And Daisy said that she's never hurdled before. I mean, are you nervous about that? I am, and I love Daisy, and I'm really pulling for her, but um, I'm, I'm, I'd just like to see her uh, make it through this without ending up on, once again, a gurney or in some sort of wheelie device. <laughs> yeah, also, I mean, what if she just falls on her face? Oh. You know, it's such a beautiful face, great eyes, and just yeah. a great personality, one of the sweetest girls in the world. The last thing I want to see is her get a uh, face full of track here. <laughs> by the way, we are sitting with Pam Stepnick. I want to bring it back. Pam Stepnick, Bert, Jake, and Logan Paul. Congratulations, by the way. Real, real cash cows there. Thank you. Um, <laughs> You are celebrating something today, yes? I am. The You're, Challenger Games. What else? Aww. What else? I am celebrating my birthday. Happy birthday, so Zach. Humble. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you birthday. So much. 29th birthday. You don't look a day over 21. Yeah. 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 Probably the most, the strongest competitor at these games for birthing those two. Totally. I should get the first award big trophy. Well, you got a sash on, the birthday girl sash, but we'll throw champion later on. Okay. Yes. I'd like that. Yeah. What a big weekend of celebrating we have here. Yes, Pam, I mean, oh. you are just a star. It's I love you. It's over the top. It's over the top. Thanks, Allie. I love you. My favorite, my favorite member of this family. All right. <laughs> she said that to Jake and Logan also, right? <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. Guys, but so I didn't we actually it. found the winners Spencer finally. Spencer After a Taylor. brief delay, we're going to go over to Dylan Landon, the official hype man of the Challenger Games. Dylan, you're on. Oh my god, this is amazing guys. You've been having a good time out here or what? So we're gonna have these medal ceremonies all throughout the day. We are looking for Spencer Taylor to receive his third place medal. Spencer Taylor, if you are not here, we are beginning without you. You missed plenty of impulsive episodes. We are not surprised you are missing the medal ceremony. Spencer Taylor to the podium now. Theme music, DJ. Here he comes, Spencer Taylor, third place. Ladies and gentlemen, your top three finishers of the 1600 men's final in third place, Spencer Taylor. In second place. Ryan Garcia! And in first place, winning the gold in the men's 1600 here at the Challenger Games 2019. Make some noise for Ryan Trahan! Those are your top three finishers, go ahead. Smile for camera. Make some noise for first, second, and third. Alrighty. Is Mar Bear okay, here? Mar Bear. We have the winning stretch. Look at Ryan stretch it out. That last 400 meters is a doozy. You got to give it up to Ryan Trey in there. And Ryan Garcia, too. They were neck and neck to the last stretch. Yeah, I think if, if Ryan Garcia had uh, done a little bit more endurance training before this, he could have took that home. But uh, I think he told me last night he's been eating. Uh, he's, he's had an unhealthy habit late at night. He's been eating double donuts. Uh, it's really showing. That sounds like my training regime. Yep. 
So congratulations to the winners. They take home a nice cash prize, and you gotta see, you gotta love the competitors out there competing, and especially the ones who are competing in multiple events. It's gotta take a wear and tear on the body. Luckily, it's starting to get a little darker out here today, Thomas, uh, which is exciting. Temperatures dropping, and a man is running up to me right now. He looks very concerned. All right, folks. So we're at Dylan Nez now live at the podium. So we'll throw it to Dylan Nez. First, second, and third. They came out here. They did their thing. Yes, in third place. Make some noise for Maya Montoya. And in second place. Micah Montoya. And in first place, your winning lady of the 400 meter final, Barbear. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are, your top three finishers. Let's get some nice photos. Looking good, ladies. Looking good. Stay up there. Do your thing. Love it, ladies. Metal models. You guys can get in there as well. Genius. Genius. All right, and it's time to crown the winners of the 1600 women. Where's Rebecca Zamolo, Lauren Descalo, and Julia Sandoval? Hey, hey! So we're getting we're getting set up for the women's hundred meter hurdles right now. Actually, we yes, have actually, Logan. I have both Jake and Logan with me, so. Oh, we the both. brothers. Here we go. You need to talk to him? Excuse me. What? That's the group comedy, bro. <laughs> All right. We are with the Paul brothers right here. Um, and, and, and the adopted Paul brother. Um, Guys, okay, we're about to watch some hurdlers. <laughs> what are your thoughts right now? I am so excited to watch everyone fall on their face. This is gonna be, this is going down like like someone's gonna eat shit. This is going down. This isn't about speed. This is ent entertainment. This specific event. I mean, w what went through your mind when you had these hur hurlers doing this? I, that's scary. It's a scary thing. Why aren't you guys doing it actually? Uh, yeah, I'm saving for the final. I still have I still have one more race in, in the hundred meter to be destroyed. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I can't really walk. Oh, yeah. I'm working on it. Well, in the promo for this, you are over a hurdle. Did you, is that Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> Who's winning this one? Who's winning this one? This one? I will say this. Charlie Jordan, the girl who won the 100-meter dash, She's a beast. got a track scholarship to go to college for the 100-meter hurdles. Like, this is her event. Is he money on it? Oh, yeah. And I, I also want to say she is on... Me and Jake's 4 by 100 meter relay team, which I will be running, by the way, actually. I'm the anchor. Okay. okay. Oh, he's the anchor? Who decided that? How is he running? He is a bionic man. Donate down below. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you heard it here first, guys. He is running the relay. All right, we're going to have to uh, wait and see what happens with that. Wow. Women's 1600 meter run in third place, Julia Sandoval. In second place, Lauren Descalo. And in first place in the 1600 women's meter run, make some noise for Rebecca Zamolo. That's your winners. Take some photos. But guys, we're going to keep it right here on the stage for a very special announcement. Thank you. We're going to keep it right here. Are we going or do we stay with Dylan? Okay. Wow. What a great, uh, what a great performance by those three women. Uh, just incredible athleticism. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the hundred meter hurdles now. So Charlie Jordan's fresh off the podium, right back onto the track. She's the heavy favorite, the betting favorite for this event. She's gonna be la running in lane five. We got Fa Flower Friendly in three, Case Boone in four, and Daisy Keach in six. Three, all very good friends of mine. I, I'd love to see Daisy Keach take this. Uh, Case Boone also a great friend of mine, but 
Charlie Jordan is just a. They, they, I'll be honest with you, Thomas. They should just give her the medal now. And just and, you know, these guys could all get some water, you know, a salad, whatever they want to have something to eat. Charlie Jordan is, is a monster. So I think we got a birthday surprise somewhere down on the track. We're going to pause for that. Pleasure to be here with everyone on my birthday and to spend it with my boys. I love you. Thank you guys. Keep donating. Hope you look liking the games. I will be running the 4 by 100 <laughs> Logan. Good thing he's rich. He can afford a lot of microphones. Ladies and gentlemen, Pam Paul. Happy birthday, Pam. What a weekend for the Paul family. We got a wedding. We got a birthday. We got the Challenger games. Action packed this weekend. And here Paul And here we go. And the hurdles, these are the most dangerous at the games right now. It's Charlie Jordan in Flower Friendly out, but it's Flower Charlie Friendly. Jordan just down the stretch. is just too much to overcome, but Flower Friendly hanging in there. Charlie Jordan back-to-back -back gold medals for her. Just, she is just, I mean, why is she at this event not on the Olympics? We should start her 30 meters back. Good God. I mean, she is absolutely incredible. But then, you know, listen, a great performance from all the competitors. Daisy really keeping up at it. This is not an easy event. And very bold to attempt the hurdles without ever actually trying them out before. So you got to give a lot of shout out, a lot of credibility to I mean, those competitors. Look at all those hurdles. It looks like a, a some sort of domino rally. Uh, you know, you tip over one of them and the rest can fall. And just this is just incredible to watch. Big, big smiles, knowing that uh, you know the winner is going to donate some money to charity. And Charlie Jordan focused, like she's taking the SATs as she runs. So we're going to go to Shannon, who's with Charlie right now. Shannon, what do you got for us? We're going to the really guys. Don't do us, I told you, I want that money. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
interesting that you met that you mentioned Bradley Martin, Mike, uh, just because didn't Logan and PSI both punch him in the face uh, to see who could be punched harder? Yeah, that happened. That happened. Well, so, you know, I'm curious, curious if he'd allow that to happen again. I, I, I mean, listen, Bradley Martin is such a large man. I don't think you can harm him with simple punches. You need something larger, like a howitzer, uh, some sort of intercontinental ballistic missile, uh, possibly a carpet bomb. Uh, this guy just can be punched over and over and over again, hit with large hammers, anything. He just doesn't feel anything. He's, he's just a massive humanoid cyborg uh, monster. <laughs> So we're going to take a minute, minute to shout out the Special Olympics. The Challenger Games is raising money to benefit the Special Olympics. The Special Olympics are the largest sports organization for people with intellectual disabilities. Click on that donation button now and help out the cause here. I know Mike and I will be doing that later this evening. Absolutely, I will be. Special Olympics is an absolutely great cause. More than happy to help. You hear us all right? Can? Well, that sucks. We've got at Jocelyn here. I'm going to try to get her a, a mic. And you see on the graphics, they actually raised the hurdles, but then lowered them back down for the men. So we're running at 30 inches right now. Thomas, why don't you give Jocelyn your, your headset for a hot second here? Let me just talk to her. Yeah. What's up, guys? Okay, so we've got we've got Aunt Jocelyn here. She was hurt earlier. Yes, I was. How are you feeling? What what happened? I'm pretty devastated, to be honest. I was really excited for this competition. What happened exactly? I used to run track in school, but that was like 10 years ago. So I trained for this about a week ago. I started training, which is probably a little late, but I started training and I was I went pretty hard. And I thought. Yeah, happy. Oh, no, my, and then I came back, <laughs> and I um, was practicing and doing more training, and I just pulled my quad. So you pulled your quad, and so you couldn't compete. Now, what, what else is going on with you these days? You, you've been hanging and out also, with... Batch pulled his leg, too, and we were in the and, same and Listen, everyone's hurt. Logan's yeah. hurt, Batch is Our hurt, team's you're gone. hurt. There's a lot of hurt going on here, but there's also a lot of great competitors. What do you look forward to doing after you leave the event tonight? What do you got going on? I mean, if this is happening again next year, I'm going to start training for next year as soon as I'm healed. Wow. Thank you, Jocelyn. All right. We're going to go back over to uh, the men's event here. We've got, looks like we've got Ronald McDonald about to run. <laughs> and we'll get those lane assignments for you shortly. But yeah, Ronald McDonald, I wouldn't say is the odds on favorite. Definitely out there for the comic relief as he pumps himself up. Look at him go. He's going to tire himself out. Uh, for people who don't know, that is Rocco Rocco, one of the most controversial uh, YouTubers uh, in the world. Completely impossible to monetize. The kid hasn't made a dollar off YouTube since 1967. Uh, dresses a large cheeseburger out here. And my guess is he's going to fall over probably the first hurdle, but probably also all of them. Well, it looks like he's got some uh, hamburger fabric protruding onto his legs. So yep. it's going to be tough to stretch out and make it over that first hurdle, but if he makes it to the end of this finish line, I'm going to give him a lot of kudos. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure he's going to end up well done. <laughs> yeah, he can't see anything. He can see absolutely nothing right now. This is, this is going to be a, uh, a, a tragedy of sorts. Who else do we have? We've got Funny Mike, the crowd favorite. Everybody loves Funny Mike. I don't think I've met someone who's been asked for more than Funny Mike in a long time. The kids love him. Everybody loves him, and it looks like we've got, is Jake Paul in the seat as well? <laughs> so we got Faye Sensei with Allie right now. Allie? Yes, we are here with Faye Sensei. How, how are you? Uh, you you're... Ice in your leg. Yeah, I hinge. I'm not sure if I pulled it or if I tore it, but the second half of the race, I just felt something nasty. Um, but I felt pretty good out there. Um, I, think, I don't know if I got second or third, 
I was in destroying team, and he was just like a bullet. So. Yeah, he trained hard. What did you do to train? I mean, do you feel like you didn't train enough, and that is why you got hurt? Definitely not. Last week, I went to the beach, ran a little bit on the sand, and on Thursday, I tried just to do the 100. I mean, I ran track in high school. Um, my, my freshman sophomore year was like 10 years ago, so I don't know. I was just trying to warm up and have some fun out here. Um, I'm disappointed about the injury. Yeah. But Will you be back next year? Oh, yeah, of course. 100%. Always back. Awesome. Thank you, Sensei. Wow. I am really excited about this right now. I, I'll be honest with you. I've never seen a cheeseburger run before, uh, let alone rock a rocket dressed up as a cheeseburger. He is just looking as dumb as I've ever seen him, and I've seen him in some pretty dumb situations. It's hard to argue or hard to add anything there as he flexes for the camera. That's his little Usain Bolt get up. Best imitation right there. Let's see if he can take that energy and put it toward the 100 meter hurdles right here. But uh, definitely the least favorite in this heat. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to be uh, losing to the giant cheeseburger. Uh, I don't think he really has any chance whatsoever. Well, Destroying is running in lane three. He's the guy to watch for. He blew away the 100-meter dash, so another 100 meters, but this one in club and Dale's jumping as he gets set. Here and here we go. Ronald McDonald out to a slow start. Oh, wow. Oh, and is that Destroying? Is, is it, I mean, he's literally levitating. Is that Destroying? This is the Charlie Jordan Destroying Games, I feel like. He's just showboating out there. Look at him go. Wow. And in lane two, Jeff, Jeff Wittick. Pulls out, but it's oh. all destroying. No, not, that's not Jeff. I don't feel this. And then for everyone watch, we've had some late confusion today. That is not the uh, fault of the announcer. And the cheeseburger's down. Rocka Rocka is, is on the field. He's hurt. But he's back up. And oh. he's knocked over the third, as I said. Watch the boys. Four. And he's knocked over the last. Nope. And he now he is just running through hurdles at this point. <laughs> He is out of control, and once again, I think we do need to go that security to the track. So we're going to take it to Shannon right now. He's with destroying the man of the games thus far. Oh, man. I, champ, I'm here with you, champ. Amazing. Come on, what kind of hat we don't use? I guess I do it all, man. It's my first time on the track. Really? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Girl, I, you are an athlete. We, but... I play football, bro. I'm a football player. Okay, you're not. Yeah, you're not, yeah. You're a super athlete from what I see. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Tell yeah. the people at home what's your charity about. Hey, man. Voice. I still haven't picked one. Okay. Okay, but tell the people how, how you feel about this whole thing. And it's, it's great, man. It's good to, you know, have all these peers out here, you know, kind of for one big cause, not thinking about ourselves, not trying to win a hundred grand for ourselves for a charity, the people who need it the most. So it's a great event, man. Shout out to the Paul Brothers for throwing this. I'm excited for next year already. If you Mutual champion. Yes, sir. Love Appreciate it, man. Let's go, champ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, stop trying to do short in that crib. At the crib. Let's go, champ. I am right here. Oh, my gosh. Are you okay? Yes. Channel. Channel. What, what happened out there? Channel. Channel. I'm a competitor. You watch yourself. There's beef going on right here. What what is happening? What are you upset about? He cheated. He cheated. You just gonna leave me hanging like that? He says you cheated. How did I cheat? Tell me. Don't. Don't. How did I cheat? Don't. How did I cheat? Did you guys see any cheating? Yeah. What happened? Who? You're looking. You can't even see anything with that. Oh, that's a lie. You can't even see that. All right, that, that's it. I mean, anything? Anything? Just right? Do you, do you have anything to say? I guess that's you. Jesse, I have a piece of that red hair on my mic. How can you even see if I cheated? Oh, I don't know. It's all good. I'm ready for this 100 meter race. Jake Paul was over there sassing me up, so. Well, you know, if Jake Paul's going to sass you, that means he must be pretty good. No, no, he's scared. That's what it is. He's scared. That's, that's, that's all right. All right, good luck out there. And stay away from scary clowns. <laughs> Hey, uh, Spencer, the other Spencer, not Spencer Taylor, Spencer Stevens, Stephen Scherer, we're not going to...
the winners of the 400 meter. So we talked about it a little bit already. Charlie Jordan destroying the talk of the town right now. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just curious as to who would win out of those two. I mean, Charlie Jordan, all around Wonder Woman, just absolutely incredible and just fun to watch. And Dee Strong is just, once again, the rocket man. I'd like to see the two of them race. I think, you know, Charlie Jordan, is, she might be able to beat him. She's fast. She's, a beast. She's no joke. Hopefully they're not on the four by 100 meter team. Otherwise, we can just mail that in right now. We got Steven Spence yelling on the stage to present first, second, and third in the 400 men's final. These are your first, second, and third place finishers. Go ahead and make some noise for them. In third place, we have Dax Dax. In second place, Steven Schultz. And in first place, with a $5,000 donation to Love Army, sponsored by Fashion Nova, it is Spencer Steven. Steven Spence. So as he gets that check, there actually wasn't a final where he just did it based on times as he takes that nice $5,000 check home. Not a bad payday for one evening of work. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good size paycheck. Uh, those are those are Logan Paul numbers right there. This kid's uh, got, some, got a good donation there going to a good cause. It looks here like Jake Paul's being tossed around by a couple of the, the, the uh, metal girls, one of whom just did a backflip. Things are... Uh, digressing into, into madness here. I couldn't have said it better myself. I, I just don't know where Ronald McDonald is to add to that. It looks like Vitaly is warming up now. Vitaly, the infamous uh, prankster. Vitaly uncensored. Uh, and, and there he goes. And that was his second throw. So yeah. we'll, we'll get a, a distance right there. He's being cheered on by his girlfriend, Kinsey Sue, who uh, also uh, quite infamous, stripped down and ran across some of the World Cup soccer games with Vitaly Uncensored tattooed across her uh, or, or on her body. Uh, big stun, great marketing play by Vitaly. Shout out Vitaly. What a great partner right there. You know, she's the like team. Some, some would call it ride or die. I think Vitaly's really struck it gold with uh, such a great uh, girlfriend and uh, it's great to see a power couple like that in the influencer industry. So Vitaly's throw was 27 feet. And we'll get more numbers as we get them back to you. That's also Vitaly's mom standing there, one of the more supportive moms in the industry. So it looks like we're going to watch a little bit more of the shot put here. This is an interesting event. It looks like he's getting a talking to right yeah. there. Maybe a little pep talk. Nah, if I know Vitaly, he's actually being yelled at by that woman. He probably has tried to throw it in the opposite direction, potentially hit a fan. Uh, Vitaly's a real trouble, trouble, uh, troublesome guy. Started a lot of trouble. Like I said, has not going beef with Fousey. Don't want to see those two uh, end up in the same area today. Let's see how we can throw this. Well, he's going to go with the glide technique. If wow. he throws that one. And that's a 16-pound ball right there. He looks so. angry, and I don't think anyone wants to see Vitaly angry. He uh, one time mounted the Hollywood sign and was arrested for it. Which letter? I do not remember. I think it may, be, may have been one of the L's. Similar to the L he's about to take on this event, too, rather more. <laughs> So 
the sun setting here, which is good for everyone, including the audience, and uh, good for us as well. I'm starting to feel a little bit less sweaty. Uh, still haven't eaten in hours. I uh, haven't had a drink of anything. Basically fasting at this point. Got a six-pack of abs that have showed up since the first time since I was 12. Well, all good things, you know, it's the life of the broadcaster. As Ryan Tradian lifts up that five thousand or three thousand dollar check, looks like a five. We're gonna call it a five. We're gonna call it with five. Uh, and it, yeah, but it's fallen off and hit him in the eye. But such is life, you know. Things happen. Well, he's all smiles. He's a good sport about it. And hats off to him for winning the sixteen hundred meters. That's the longest event we have for tonight. And he won it with conviction. What a guy! Great kid. Thomas, how long have you been doing this for? Been doing this for about three to four years professionally, mostly covering the main big three sports: baseball, football, basketball. Well, I'll say you're quite good at it, Thomas. I've never done this before. Never called a sporting event. All I know how to do is uh, say random things that some people find funny, others don't. Uh, but you can't please them all. Well, I gotta say, as your first time as a color guy, you've done a bang-up job. You know all the athletes very well, and it's made my job a lot easier. So, hats off to you as well. I appreciate that, Thomas. Thank you. Thanks to all the fans out there as well, Challenger Games fans, Logan Paul, Jake Paul fans, and also everyone who has donated to the Special Olympics. Like I said, that is an absolutely incredible cause. Here goes Kinsey Sue. That's a pretty solid toss. By the way, I believe Kinsey Sue is the only competitor in the women's shot put. And so the competition is uh, is, is not, too, not too tight there. She's going to win no matter what happens. Uh, after that one throw, a large folding table could clear her out and she would still win. Well, you gotta love those odds as a competitor show up and take home the gold. So she was smart to kind of fly in under the radar to take that event to herself. Yeah, Kinsey Sue's a real pro. I, I spoke with her last night at the Airplane Mode premiere, a uh, movie that a lot of people are anticipating coming out August 3rd. And um, she wasn't sure if she wanted to compete, but it looks like she made the right decision. She's now competing against her biggest competitor herself. So I just got word Allie is down there with Kuzi right now, so we're going to throw it to Allie. Allie, what do you got? Hey, guys, I am here with Kuzi. How do you feel? I mean, you have been kind of staging this comeback for the past uh, few months, so, you know, how do you feel? I feel great. I mean, I was happy to be here. Thank you, Logan, for bringing me out. I didn't do too well in my race, if you saw. I fell, but then I did get to help Logan up and carry him to the finish line, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, what was going through your mind at that moment? I mean, that was an awesome camaraderie we saw within this YouTube community. Um, I was thinking about Drake the whole time, so I just knew that I wanted to make Drake proud, so I needed to do something in that moment to really like show him that I'm a good guy, so I thought helping Logan would be a good opportunity. Yeah, that's really on brand for you. I, I like that. I like that. Now... You and Vitaly had a falling out. He's here today. Uh, have you crossed paths with him? With him? Have you seen him? Uh, I actually have crossed paths with him, um, and nothing happened. I think we both moved on from the situation and then just chose to go our separate ways, so I was happy about that. Because I'm not looking for any more drama this year, you know? I'm just looking to be peaceful, be happy. I do have a boxing match coming in September, but aside from that, I'm all love. Yeah, you've been training for the undercard, huh? No, 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 not the not undercard. A, di a different boxing match that's coming, but I do have a big boxing match in September. All right, all right. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to see. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, nice oh, yeah, one more thing. I love you, Drake. <laughs> Mic drop. You heard it here. Wow. The I love you, Drake, at the end. Keemstar, did you hear that? A little bit of self-deprecating humor there. Obviously, uh, reference to uh, Fuzzy Fest. Look at that little mister right there. So fans and athlete, let's give a big shout out to Halogen, our official streaming partner and host of the Halogen Athletes Lounge as you get a live look right there. Halogen is a brand new live streaming platform that lets you charge as much or as little as you want for your content. Now you can stream live with unlimited scale on a totally free platform supported by fans and not ads. Wow, it's great to see. It really is great to see Fousey too back in front of the camera. <clears throat> that guy's uh, he's had a pretty pretty wild career, and uh, it's exciting to see him back in the saddle making content again. Huge fan of Fousey Tube. Uh, great great little partner uh, for the mental health community. He speaks out a lot, and, you know, about mental health, raising awareness, and uh, he's an overall great guy. Big fan of Fousey. Good to see him back. So encouraging words from Mike right there, shouting out the athletes, the competitors here this evening. And we got a, a lot of commotion 
out in front of the tent right now. I think we're getting ready for the relay races. And we'll get the teams to you as we get them here in the booth. This, is, this one's going to be exciting as well. I think there's a couple stacked teams. Logan and Jake Paul are walking up right now. I believe Logan's going to try to run this. They're having a chat with Summer Rae. Blue Queen Summer Rae. Absolutely amazing individual. And due to the injuries we've had tonight, we are going to have to switch up some of the relay teams right now. But my money is whoever has Charlie Jordan or Destroy is got to be the odds-on favorite. Yeah, and, if, and by the way, if both of them end up on the same team, I mean, we might as well close up shop now and just head home. Uh, but, yeah, this, the, I, I'm actually quite excited for this one. I love seeing the uh, teamwork and camaraderie between the influencers. It's just it's just really fun to watch. I never really have more fun than, when, than, than at these kind of events when all the influencers get together and get to hang out. Well, another big storyline is going to be Jake and Logan Paul. They're going to be racing together. We got an injury on one side. We got King Bash out on the other side. So it's going to be interesting to see how they mix up these teams and where we're going to go from here. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. Jake Paul also with the giant uh, wedding of the century tomorrow in Las Vegas. We'll be heading down to that uh, later this evening. Uh, Jake Paul, of course, of course, marrying Tana Longshaw, uh, the, uh, the couple of the century. It looks like we've got someone here who would like to say something. Oh, hey, everyone. I just... Oh, and we're getting yelled at by the production team. Here we go. Sorry, my bad. Hey, hey guys. It's, it's Dylan. Just want to say hi to my niece if she's watching. Hi, Juge. Love you. We're having a great time out here. These commentators are doing their thing. It's their job just to keep talking and entertaining this entire time. We're out there on the field doing things with the fans here in the stands. You guys can come to the next Challenger Games, hopefully again sponsored by Halogen. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's all happening right in front of us. The 4x100 is happening now. Wow, you guys are having a great time out here. How's your voices so far? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm used to this, Dylan. As you know, Dylan, of course, is the producer for the world's number one internet show and podcast, Impulsive, which I happen to be on. Uh, <laughs> this guy has pulled this pretty much his entire event together with the help of some uh, higher ups. But Dylan is absolutely incredible. And he's the uh, secret sauce behind the scenes. Oh, Impulsive. what a nice thing to say, Big Mike. Now, Big Mike was made for this job. Thomas, is he giving you a hard time? I don't know. He's been a joy in the booth. Everyone kind of warned me. Ahead of time, that watch out for me. Oh, God, that's my worst. And I and I tend to disagree. I think that when the lights go off is when the camera should start rolling because that's when you get to see the uh, oh, more dangerous side of things. You can have all that entertainment and more three times a week on the Impulsive YouTube. That's right. On Logan Paul's Impulsive, and we're gonna be out. Uh, is it a secret where we're going to be tomorrow shooting our show? They know. Oh, they do know. Oh, actually, I don't think anyone does know this. Impulsive. Wait, wait, don't drop it. All right, I'm not going to say, but I'm sure they can come on. So it's Saturday. Tomorrow Sunday. We're doing a special Impulsive episode from a remote location. An interesting event to take place, but stay tuned for that. Maybe uh, during the final ceremony, we'll make that announcement. So I'm going to get out of here. Back doing the hype guy thing. Thank you guys for having me here. It's, it's like JR. Okay, so this is going to be it for the video, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm actually going to gonna pass out. Love you guys to death. Do your best. Don't let nobody do you. Don't let nobody screw you over. Don't let nobody screw your mind over. Don't let nobody make you want to make you, make you be someone different. Make you want to make you be someone different, yeah. I'm so tired, I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's get it, let's sing off.